Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Miss Dino with Miss Dino's Lego Robotics. Super excited today to show you Miss Dino's Lego EV3 Scissors Lift. It's a really cool build. Um, I did get some online instructions on some part of it and then it was one of those cases again where I couldn't see everything so I had to definitely modify it to the way I thought it should be. But anyway, if you want to see this guy, stay with me. And after watching this video, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there. Come on, I know you can do it. So scissor lifts are super purposeful. They have many different kinds of jobs that you can do with this. Um, I've read online that these lifts can lift from 20 to 40 feet high. Depending on how high and what type of scissor lift you have, you know, it can be used for changing out light bulbs that are really high. Uh, it can be used for construction, lifting uh, material to second or third floors. Um, it definitely has weight restrictions. Um, it's depending on what scissor lift you're looking at, it's about a thousand pounds. So it's basically just to help somebody like my Lego guy here get to a higher place without, you know, too much danger. And it's pretty mobile. If you look them up, they have wheels and they, have, they come in different sizes so that you can move them to different places. So let's see how this guy works. I think I've shared with you guys before, it's really hard to know how something's built if the person doesn't show you everything about it. So like I said, this was totally modified by me. You ever have those builds where everything just comes out perfectly? This is definitely not the one. But it's super functional and it works and I'll show you that in a second. But let me go ahead and just show you all the ins and outs about this. So here's my Lego guy. I would have had a touch sensor for him to operate the lift, but again, I left all my sensors in, in school. Um, I'll show you this in a second, but that's the actual lift. This was leaning a little bit, so I put this axle here just to keep it straight. Originally, I did not have wheels on it, but after looking up scissor lifts, you know, they need to be able to have wheels so that you can move these guys where you want. Now here's the most important part right here is here's the gear setup that I had. So basically what's gonna happen is this worm gear will spin this gear, which will push this beam. And basically the scissors lift will work by this pushing this. And when you know when you push scissors, um, it'll make this then expand up. You'll see in the program. Let's go ahead and turn this guy around. Okay, so most of this modification that you see was just stabilizing everything. If I wanted it perfect, I would have lifted up the back. This guy's kind of low riding it a little bit. Let me show you the gear setup again. There's minifig Joe. Didn't quite comb his hair very well this morning, but that's all right. He's working. So this is kind of the fun part about it is just making this build your own. Um, I did get definitely to frustrated parts. I'm like, I can't see what's going on, but it was kind of fun just to go rogue and do my own thing. So that's what I kind of, I think I learned the most through this is when you're trying to follow building instructions or just looking at something in a video and you can't quite see what's going on. Like, I think the fun part is just to create your own thing as long as it works for you. That's what I said before. As long as this thing's functional, I was pretty happy. So let's go ahead and watch this thing in action now. 
So as this program's running, I'll definitely zoom in on certain sections to show you how you know everything works and if you're trying to build this, how to build it. So let's go ahead and start this program. So Joe is done fixing the light or replacing the light bulb. He's going to move to his next job. Okay, he's moving already to the next job. Definitely want to get this scissors lift part. Wow, Joe works fast. I added in that spike prime block right there. That's what I mean by it's fun to just modify things. If you are trying to accomplish something and don't have the pieces, eh, just find something else. And when that gear re rotates it back, that's what lowers the scissors lift. Let's watch Joe go up. Yeah, Joe. Get your job done, Joe. Thing goes up pretty high. Just think if I had used 15 hole beams, Joe would be hitting the ceiling. Okay guys, so there you have it. For those of you that teach robotics, this would be a great lesson because then kids or students can now look into different jobs and the different purposes again for these scissor lifts and just basically the engineering part behind it is really cool. So, you know, if you are thinking about doing this as a lesson, that would be the cool thing is to kind of let the students explore with, you know, however they want to make this. Again, as long as it's functional and they understand the engineering part behind it and the purposes of it, and there's also dangers involved in it. And then there's other variables on sizes and then you can talk about weight limitations and everything. So it's just opens up a can of education and math and science and you know the whole stem part so this guy was really cool to build it's going to be sad to take this guy apart and i'll have to retire joe sorry joe i might not need you anymore but this is one of those things where again if you get a chance to build something like this definitely fun and worth it okay guys i'm mr hino from mr hino's lego robotics i'm out He's out. He's out. He's out.